All right, so I'm giving a quick review of um, the flipped classroom method that uh, can apply to our Python programming class this year. Um, overall, I think it's a great method. I'm an exchange student from Maastricht, and there you can say that um, we also use a similar method, meaning that you empower the student a lot and that the student is responsible also for um, yeah for his own studying process and yeah not too dependent on the teacher itself. And yeah, what goes along maybe for yeah for the people that uh, take this uh, next year, studying-wise, I can only encourage you in the beginning to discover multiple sources for, for example, programming, um, and discover the way that works for you, how to learn best. Um, so, for example, one might really be into watching videos to understand content, other like to read the book chapters. That depends. Um, the good thing, yeah, in Ken's classes, that you can succeed with both ways. Um, regarding the learning process, it is really important to, to do things constantly because in my experience I, um, I was traveling a lot as an exchange student. You, um, once you didn't program for a few weeks you forgot a lot of commands and then working yourself in can take some time and um, you do mistakes in the programming process that are avoidable and then just make the debugging uh, harder. Um, especially with programming you need to be really patient because yeah I learned the debugging process takes most of the time and finding mistakes uh, is hard um, but again coming to the flipped, uh, flipped class uh, classroom you can uh, talk to your to your um, classmates about those problems you have if you have if you can't solve it um, they might know the solution because they had similar problems or last but not least there's always Ken to ask. Ken is really um, always available online so post your question on Facebook don't be shy you need to um, yeah get your questions out there otherwise you won't receive answers. Yes I hope that was um, a positive feedback about the flipped classroom and will be helpful in the next year.